Christopher, I think you agree with the woman who we just saw that actually BLM isn't helping this country. Absolutely agree. I mean, for me, the issue wasn't about race at all. I mean, you could argue that the guy was a bit heavy handed, sure, but as a black person, you can't just walk into someone's store. If they yeah, refuse to give you a refund, you can't just take um, other belongings there. That is shoplifting. So you can't just create a, commit, try and commit a crime. Then when they fight back, you say, oh, that's racism. Sadly, that's what Black Lives Matter has done. It's created that type of mentality amongst the black community where mm. we feel. And we of have course, right we don't know for yeah. sure that the woman in this case has shoplifted. It was suspected, no, of course, no, she has been arrested. Exactly, it's allegedly. Uh, Bushra, you think that the shop owner was completely within his rights, though, especially given the epidemic of shoplifting we have across the country at the moment? Oh, totally. You know, people keep going on about he was trying to strangle her. That's not what happened. He had a moment where he used force that he didn't realise that he was because he was being smashed in the head with, with a basket. It nipped his eye. And if anyone has had anything put in the eye before, you know that that reflex and that response is going to happen. He's a shop owner. He was protecting his property and his business from a woman who was irate, overdramatic, uncontrollable. People are totally forgetting that perspective. And what do you think of BLM using this protest and organisations like Sister Space connected to Ngozi Fulani, who seems to want to stoke a race war in this country. What do you think of them using this incident to launch these protests, Bushra? Is it good for oh, Britain gosh, or bad for Britain? It's, it's totally bad for Britain. We don't want to end up like America. Black Lives Matter movement is an absolute scam. It emboldens the racist rhetoric that simply doesn't exist. It makes people of even ethnic communities delusional about the reality of what is actually well, Narenda, happening. Narenda, on, Narenda's on got her head in her hands. Narenda, do you but think she, BLM is good for Britain? I think any protest group, I think they have every right to st stick up and demand for the equal, equal rights for black people who historically and systemically suffer racism in this country. And I'm not going to go through all the examples because there's so many. And Bushra, you're sat there talking in such stere stereotypical language, sticking up for the shopkeeper who quite frankly just want to keep the money in his till. The lady comes in the shop nicely, kindly, offers a receipt, Pr proof of purchase, and he refuses. That's a... Well, Narenda, look, Narenda, Narenda, I'm going to interrupt there. No, 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 Narenda, just let me interrupt for one second. No, no, Narenda, 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 let me interrupt for one second. This is very important. I do not want to talk about the specifics of this case, Fine. OK? Because Fine. the case is being investigated by the police. Fine. Justice will run its course. What we're talking about is about the toxic BLM protests outside, which Narenda are actually toxic. stoking racism. Well, did you not That's see not the signs that are up on the shops. Do you not see they what they're like calling right. Asian and people? Those groups, those protest groups are quite within their rights to put up those signs and protest in... Narenda, 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 did you read the signs? Right. Narenda, Narenda, they describe... No, no, Narenda, Narenda, let me interrupt you again. So you say that the BLM movement are within their rights to put up signs that call Asian people parasitic merchants and tell them to go to hell. You think that's within their rights? Well, that they're protesting, and actually they're the customer. Peckham is a large black community. And actually they may feel that these Asian shopkeepers are taking the mickey out of them because they are taking money from black people but not respecting the black woman, quite frankly. OK, well, let and Christopher actually, Rose come in here. Right. Let Christopher come in here. Well, yeah, they, see, there's this idea that because she um, shares the same skin tone as me that I must defend her. That's the type of mentality that Black Lives Matter creates. Mm. Frankly, I think she was in the wrong. And I don't know why they're protesting outside and creating these signs. Well, that the Paris it's wrong. Uh, urgency. It's, it's wrong. I mean, if white people wrote that, it'd be absolutely racist. So it's the same as uh, if Black Lives Matter mm. activists do it. We don't get a free... Um, okay, Narenda, come in. Narenda, come in. But if a black man put his hands on a white woman, that that, that the, the whole of Peckham would be up in fire. Because actually, if it was a white woman, this would not be happening. This would be a Bushra, did you agree with that? Because it's a black woman, no, no one cares. No one cares. Bushra, no. Bushra is a Muslim lady. Let Bushra respond, Narinda. 
honestly, we just need to stop making this about race. This is about personal accountability and responsibility of a human being. And we are all, we all have to look at ourselves and see how we behave. Stop seeing people as color. Judge people based Bush on their Bush actions. Bush That's all Bush we Bush have Bush to do. Bush, you are constantly, your community is constantly accused as a Muslim. Oh, you're terrorists, you're this, you're that. And you fight against that. So why can't black people fight against their rights? You're a hypocrite. But being Bush, a terrorist, right? you're not, as a being a terrorist color, is a religion. Is it's not really a color. I, I don't, what, what, I don't right, understand why you're getting so irate. Okay, Christopher, 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 Christopher coming. I was saying, well, what rights as a black person would I be fighting for? The right to shoplift. That's not really a right I want. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's, that's indeed. not a right to shoplift. Chris, you are so yes. ignorant. It and of course, right I, will, I will repeat oh, again, God. I will repeat again, we do not know the specifics of what went on uh, in this case. But Bushra Sheikh, Christopher Rose, Narinda Kerr, thank you all so much. Who do you agree with on this? Amid the Peckham shoplifting row, is the BLM movement bad for Britain?